So not the best start of the morning. Uh, I was supposed to be playing like an hour or so. I just got a message that the courts are flooded and there's no way we're gonna be able to play at least outdoors today. Uh, we had some really heavy rain last night, so I should have been prepared for that, but I was not. Now I'm gonna have to see if I can find somebody to play with indoors, if anybody's available. If not, uh, I just got in contact with my good friend, Eric Hogue. If you haven't uh, checked out his channel, go ahead, look in the description. Definitely subscribe to him. He's an excellent friend of mine and he's been helping me a lot with my fitness, uh, but he's having a new routine that focuses specifically on explosiveness and speed, which is something I asked him to do because I feel like my game is there, but the speed isn't always uh, perfect right now. So I'm at least gonna do that workout today. And I also wanna go now to the mall, uh, pick up some protein powder and a shaker cup because I couldn't bring all that stuff over here, uh, as well as maybe some bands, uh, maybe some light weights. So I can do some different exercises at home rather than going to the gym. And a couple updates as well. So we now have a membership option. So if you wanna look down in the description uh, or there should be a little button down there uh, next to the description that says join. You don't have to join if you don't want to, of course, but it costs $2.00. 99 cents per month if you want to find a way to support me that's one of the best ways you can support me right now as i don't make money off of any ad revenue i make no money actually at all from doing these videos uh, but that would be a great help all of that money will go towards uh, my training and me traveling to go ahead and play tournaments and i'll put some money also into these videos to make higher quality content for you all i almost forgot if you do decide to become a member you're going to have access to a members only discord server where we talk about all things tennis gear tournaments and even some upcoming videos, potentially some video suggestions from you guys. And you'll also have access to members only badges that indicate how long you have been a member for. I also wanna give a huge shout out to Nick Lombardo. The guy used to be a tennis player, now runs Ironman triathlons. He is my former coach and a good friend of mine back home from South Carolina. And he is attempting to break a 10 hour Ironman triathlon right now and has been putting his update videos on YouTube. So brand new to YouTube, please give him some love. Go ahead over there, subscribe, like all his videos. The guy is a real workhorse uh, and he deserves all the credit in the world. Uh, definitely go ahead and check him out. I'll leave his YouTube channel in the description down below. Okay, so really did not get good sleep last night, unfortunately. I don't know what's been going on, but my sleep has just been terrible. I almost feel like I'm a little bit sick, and I, mean, I just feel completely drained. But that's okay. Uh, I'm supposed to have a practice today at 12 o'clock. Unfortunately, it is pouring here, so courts are flooded once again. Good news is this time I scheduled two practices. Normally, I try not to play on two different services in the same day, but since uh, it's been raining here a little bit, I just want to get as much tennis in as possible. So I have another practice set up at three o'clock today inside the hall, which is an indoor courts at Maximir. Hard courts, like really, really slick, fast, hard courts. You really gotta be on your game there. Uh, there's no messing around. That ball is coming fast right at you. So you gotta move quick. You gotta have that short backswing and really accelerate through that ball, drive forward as much as you possibly can. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me and hopefully get some good clips of me hidden in there. Okay, so we're gonna start over here with some of my serve. Um, I was serving actually okay today. I didn't place the ball like very well, but the serve felt okay. You see my feet are pretty active here. I'm staying decently low. 
and that's not really the biggest issue. The biggest issue is me leaning off the ball. And it's because I'm getting set up, prepared to where I think the ball should be, and then it's coming much quicker into me than I realize. One of the reasons is because I'm just not used to the timing of playing indoors, but one of the biggest reasons is I just really cannot see that ball at all. Like, I, I'm really judging the ball poorly right now, and it's to the point where, like, if I look to the other side of the court, uh, I can't really make out the guy's face at all, of whoever I'm playing. And it happens only when it's indoors, uh, under the artificial lights, or if I'm playing outdoors at night under artificial lights. Out, uh, outside during the day, I just don't have that issue. Um, but you see, like, looking back at it here, it doesn't look like it's too bad. Like, I look like, okay, I'm making a couple mistakes here and there. There are little things I shouldn't make errors on. But for the normal person, they'd look at this and say, well, it doesn't look terrible. But I can tell you from my feeling that it's much worse. Like, I, I really hate playing where I just cannot see the ball. It, it's, it's so difficult. I feel like I'm really putting maximum effort just to watch the ball. I'm not really thinking about playing tennis anymore. I'm just thinking about how I can survive and how can I put one more ball back in the court, which is what you'll have to do sometimes in tennis, but it shouldn't be because you know you can't see. Like That's something I can kind of change. I can go see a doctor, and, I, and I'm going to go see a doctor now because this is an issue that I've had for a couple years now. The doctors in the U.S. couldn't tell me what it was. They said I had 20-20 vision, which I think is a complete joke. There's no chance I have 20-20 vision. My right eye now is significantly worse than my left eye. Left eye I can see actually pretty decent from distance. I think if my right eye would just be anywhere close to my left eye, I would have no problems, but uh, I really need to get that checked out. And yeah, see, now I'm just being tentative with my shots, just trying to push them in, not accelerating. Yeah, he's just taking advantage of me here. See, even that one, I was just misjudging. I was you know, reaching forward. So a lot of these shots, I'm either reaching forward or leaning backwards. It's just a recipe for disaster. Yeah, trying to be aggressive. And then the ball's behind me because I can't see it. Even that forehand, I don't know how that went in because I was leaning way back on that. Yeah, miss hit backhand. Slice, barely getting to it. And game over, yeah. And you see the frustration just starting to build here. Like, it, it's just really not good at all just being extremely extremely frustrated with my results yeah and back in too everything is just i got into like a pit like a black hole you know i just I feel like my partner was saying it's like i'm in a black hole out there but it's not because i'm mad the way i'm playing I'm, I'm mad at the situation that i can't perform to the best of my ability because of something that my body is doing that i that yes i have control over i can get it fixed but at the same time i don't have control over because it's not like it's an injury it's it's my eye anyway it, it's it's a tough situation I'm, i have to get that looked at because this whole winter season here they play mostly indoors in the bubble or in the hall here and if i'm gonna play like that for a whole winter i think i'm just gonna end up quitting tennis like that, that just really is frustrating to play like that but anyway thank you guys so much for watching actually as of today we also have an option uh, not only just to be a member but you can also give super thanks so if you feel like uh, you're inclined to not just like subscribe but if you want to give a little money my way you can do a super thanks and that will also uh, go into any of my tournaments that I play any of my training right now I think I'm gonna be saving up to buy a stringing machine here because uh, stringing costs get expensive when you have to string every two days so yeah if you have any extra income and you feel so inclined that you want to send some of my way please do that is much appreciated it would really help out with my journey over here but anyway Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day, everybody.